This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury. She managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. Her megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. Her megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions, the poison source turns to it for inspiration. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Vagrant. Yes, Fire! Jagger! 
I'll kill the fucker. I'll kill him. Ugly bastard. I am Tucker. Do you keep lighter and bothering folk? Go, go. was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> You know, I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Brando swords, but I prefer the trusty axe. Ah, they say old sort of shape. What have you brought for the farewell feast? Brad? Sheep's milk cheese. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. And supper knives are good for picking your teeth, sir.
Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Sims, they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely not. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. <laughs> hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? <laughs> Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's.
See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That'd likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Me want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Face three black ones alone. Feast the carrots old are legendary. Tell me Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Lord Skelliger's called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindusfial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Calm down, Lugos. No wench will teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. 
hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right. Nightingales croon. This will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia being romantic. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Looks alive. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. A hundred loose an arrow if you saw that in the woods. Looks alive. A hundred loose an arrow if you saw that in the woods. A basin of water. For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Feel it coming closer.
What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Mind if we, uh, never mention this again? Naturally. Doors open. We'll proceed as soon as you've collected trophies of your kills. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Letter bearing Ermion's seal to the druids warns them about you. That brazen manipulator. World of Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Goes in for light reading to the triple me. Corpse of no Grabbed by Sasha Hardy. A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of child others. skull. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. Geralt, come here! I found the mask! This is it! Got it. We must return to the feast quickly before.
wait. For what? We must talk to Krach. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> when are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. 